Alright guys, it is Thursday, December 10th, 2020, at 2.13 a.m. Alright, let's take a look quickly here at USGS. We have a 5.5 in Kabansk, Russia, 10 kilometers in depth. We have a 4.3 in Japan, 61.3 kilometers in depth. We had a 4.3 in Tonga, Pangai, Tonga, 226.5 kilometers in depth. 4.9 in Taiwan. A 4.9 in Alaska. A 4.5 in Chile. Right here. Alright guys, so it is not a gigantic uptick, but it is an uptick. We have one in, in China, border of Russia, and then we have one in Turkey, a 3.4 in Kurdiman, Turkey, 10 kilometers in depth. Alright, so earlier today we had one in Maine, and we're getting all just basically... Um, middle to a little bit higher range here with the China the 5.5 and then the Alaska with the 4.9 and the 3.6 in Alaska alright guys let's take a look quickly here at my uh, page the aurora forecast is starting to creep upward in strength tonight it appears the earth's magnetic field is now responding to the solar storm impact we should have a clear idea where the night is headed for the northern lights in the next hour, Nick Stewart says. And here we have a couple of Aurora videos. We have Nature and Animals. Such a lovely moment observing the reindeer under the Aurora. Let's take a look at this video. Let me rewind it. Alright, do so you see the northern lights here with the reindeer kind of in the snow at the bottom? quite beautiful all right let's take a look at other northern light pictures we have orbit inside saying a weather balloon with a camera was sent into the atmosphere to capture the northern lights reaching 126,000 feet above the surface the payload captured the scene over Fairbanks Alaska let's take a look at these pictures look at that that's beautiful. And then them showing uh, the balloon. And then look at that. Beautiful lights. Alright, more lights. Alright, with the um, atmosphere because of the sun, is going to be creating more northern lights and it's going to be reaching further so southward in the uh, the planet or the globe so more aurora borealis had to come and i will post them if i come across them all right so we had an hour ago an earthquake a 5.3 in taiwan a, a moderate magnitude 5.3 at 36 kilometers in depth in taiwan then we had a 1.5 in nevada tonopah nevada then we have from culture Vulcan volcano novel explosion with um, relative mint foot so it's a basically a relatively strong earthquake in uh, Sakujima Sarakujima all right guys and then for all quakes we had a 4.3 earthquake in Tonga 21 minutes ago then we had of 4.2 in Indonesia and then again the 5.3 that happened in Taiwan the 5.0 earthquake that happened in Chinese Taipei about an hour ago and then the 3.6 that happened in Sandpoint Alaska so I usually just spend my time my free time uh, looking through the Twitter earthquake posts and if anything pops up I just reblog it and uh, keep record of it here on my page make sure to check out my Twitter page for more news and more 
earthquake updates um i'll leave the link to my uh twitter page in the description below all right guys here's more news from good morning america while rich countries have purchased enough coronavirus vaccine doses to inactivate their populations three times over the next year 90 percent of poor people in countries uh, won't be able to get the vaccine in 2021 according to the new report rich countries are hoarding the covid vaccine and from daily mail us 67 countries will only be able to vaccinate one in ten people so that's sad news to hear and then usa today says thursday night might end up being the best night for us to see the northern lights and then more earthquakes about two hours ago a 3.7 in Nicaragua three hours ago a four a 3.4 in Nicaragua so they're back to back two and three hours ago also you should see a decent spattering of meteors on the preceding nights says USA Today uh, you might catch a Geminid meteor anytime this week as the shower builds to its peak. Heads up, here comes the Gemini Meteor Shower. Sky watchers this month will get to enjoy the Gemini Meteor, Meteor Shower, which is considered to be one of the best showers of the year. I believe it is this weekend that you'll be able to see it. Alright, and then three hours ago, a 2.0 hit Pahala, Hawaii. And three hours ago, a 3.4 hit Nicaragua. Alright guys, so I'm going to stop covering the older earthquakes, but I cover earthquakes, I keep an eye just in case there's a tsunami, um, I keep my eye on the news, and I keep my ear to the streets. So hit like and subscribe for more news, and God bless you guys. Have a good night.